Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to cover dynamic distribution list. What a dynamic distribution list is and uh, why we use it and what is the benefit of using dynamic distribution list. So uh, this, di this distribution list is again a type of distribution list which comes in handy wherein we want to send a mass mailer. But the basic, basic difference between a distribution list and a dynamic distribution list is that in distribution list we have to add the members manually we need to go to the distribution list click on members and then we need to add it manually but in this dynamic distribution list we don't need to create uh, we don't need to add members manually we just need to define the conditions that uh, the, the user should be a part of uh, this uh, department or uh, maybe this user would have this job title or uh, if the user is matching the condition then it will be added automatically into this dynamic distribution list so the main benefit of using it that you do not have to manually add the users add, just add the condition and user will be added automatically into this distribution list upon uh, matching the condition so let me show you what uh, a condition is and how do we create the conditions so first of all i'm in exchange admin center and this dynamics distribution list under groups i'll just click on add a group and then it will be a dynamics distribution okay all right and you can see that uh, this email list updates automatically in every 24 hours okay based on the filters and conditions you set so I'll click on next and I will put some name to it, dynamic distribution list. And this will be DDL test. Okay. I'll just copy the name because I will be using the same name for this group email address. I'll click on next. All right. I will be the primary owner of this Rahul. Okay. And I'll just want that only people who has an outlook like who has a mailbox associated with that uh, user's account okay and i want that their membership uh right now i only have company and department rest of the rest of the attributes are custom so if you have your custom attributes you can you can set them up uh but right now i can only use department because i do not have custom uh, group setup okay so i will be using department and department would be let's say it so what i want that the user who has department set as it should be added into this group automatically but again uh, remember guys that it takes uh, a little bit of time so the crawlers run in the background and checks the department uh, of the users and if the department matches with the criteria which we are setting right now then the user will be added automatically into this distribution list and i will hit next okay so the things are fine i'll just click on create group so the group will be added okay and we have set up the condition to uh, department matching to it okay and i'll just finish this All right and i know that i have a user who has department as it so this is one of my user skelly and i know that this uh, user has department selected as it okay you can just cross verify from microsoft 365 admin center account and uh, if i click on this manage contact information i would be able to see the department okay you see the, the department is set to it all right so since we have verified it we just need to wait for some time to get the user added into this tdl test okay and also like i said 
it uh, takes a little bit of time like uh, whenever you create a group and uh, you set a condition it take at least one or two hours to update uh, the dynamic distribution list automatically and if you don't believe me let me show you quickly i'll just open this okay i will go to this membership okay and uh, you can see department and let me add another rule here let me select the company right and company would be 5062 into 8 and i'll save it okay so the moment you save it there will be a pop-up you say details updated it may take up to two hours for your changes to take effect and uh, like i always say depending upon the uh, size of the organization it takes time so it uh, right now it's saying two hours but uh, my talent is small so it may take a little bit of uh, maybe 30 minutes or so so let's check back in 30 minutes and let's see if the membership gets updated or not okay so let's till then i'll just pause the video let's uh, meet again all right so it's around 24 hours now and i haven't checked the sync yet but let's check back in uh dynamics distribution list if the membership is updated now or not okay let's check back and uh, let's go to members view all members okay and uh, let's see okay now i can see that uh, scaly is being added and uh, as far as remember we selected the department as it and let's check back if this user uh, department is it or not okay so this is the user and i'll open it okay let's scroll down and let's look for more contact information let's click on this and uh, yes we could see that this department is it and uh, this user is successfully added into this dynamic distribution list now let's check if we send the email to this dynamics distribution list does it go through to that user or not okay let's copy the email of this distribution list let's go to mailbox okay and let's drop an email new email the distribution list okay and uh, let's put it as a test let's put this as a test and sent let's check into the sent items okay so it's sent successfully and uh, let's go back to the user account and let's see if this emails arrives there or not okay this is the account i have opened for this user this is kelly shepherd okay now you can see that this email was sent to distribution list and i see that email body is test so this means that the uh, test was successful the user got added to dynamics distribution list just fine and email is also going through so uh, that is it for today's video and uh, like i always say if you have any doubts leave your doubts in the comment and i'm happy to answer them so see you guys in the next video till then happy learning goodbye